Carnivorous plants are fascinating members of the plant kingdom which get nutrients by trapping and dissolving their prey. There are more than 600 recognized species of carnivorous plants which employ various kinds of traps to capture prey, including insects and small vertebrates. Amazing! We are sure that you will be amazed at our 10 most amazing carnivorous plants in the world. Number 10. Brocinia reducta. The Brocinia reducta is native to the Guiana highlands of South America. The plant effectively uses what is known as a pitfall trap in order to tempt and trap its prey. Because of its waxy and overlapping leaves, water is collected at the bottom of its cup-like leaves. Ants and other insects are attracted to the water pit by its odor and the UV rays which it reflects. Once inside, the insect slips into the water and eventually drowns. The plant then begins digestion with the help of enzymes and bacteria. Number 9. Ultravanda vesiculosa. Commonly known as the water wheel plant, Ultravanda vesiculosa is an underwater flytrap that feeds on small aquatic invertebrates. Much like the Venus flytrap, this plant uses two lobes, which are folded together underwater, in order to catch its prey. There is a coating of sensitive hairs inside which trigger the trap when coming to contact with the prey. The trap closes within 20 milliseconds and then digestion begins. Number 8. Saracenia. Another native to North America, the genus of Saracenia contains about 10 species of carnivorous plants which use smell, nectar and color to attract their prey into the pitcher. Once the insect is trapped, it finds it impossible to escape due to the slippery surface and the fine hairs in the tube. The pitcher contains fluid with digestive enzymes which drowns the insect and starts digestion. A number of species have hoods above the pitchers to keep out the rainwater. Number 7. Eliamphora. Commonly known as the sun pitcher plants, Eliamphora is a genus that consists of about 23 species of carnivorous plants that use pitfall traps to attract and kill mainly ants, but also flying insects. Much like the Saracenia, it digests plants with the help of bacteria after the prey has fallen and drowned in its water. The interesting thing about this genus of plants is that only one species can produce its own bacteria, so the others need the help of symbiotic bacteria to digest insects. Number 6. Pingicula. Commonly known as butterworts, Pingicula is a genus of carnivorous plants consisting of around 80 species. They are mainly found in America, Europe and Asia. The trapping mechanism is aided by two glands found on the leaves. The first one, called the pendicular gland, secretes a gluey mucilaginous substance with digestive enzymes which forms droplets on the leaf surface. These droplets attract an insect and when it lands, the gland produces more mucilage which covers the insect. The digestion triggers the second type of glands, sessile glands, which produce enzymes that further break down the components of the insect in order to supplement the poor mineral nutrition they obtain from the environments. Number 5. Utricularia. Most commonly called bladderworts, Utricularia is a genus consisting of more than 200 species of carnivorous plants. They have presence in every continent except Antarctica. In both terrestrial and aquatic types, Utricularia employs bladder-like traps to capture prey such as mosquitoes, protozoa, larvae and fish fry. The trap doors are connected to sensitive hairs. When they're triggered by the prey, the bladder, which is in negative pressure when compared to its surroundings, sucks the prey into itself. The whole activity takes place in a very small amount of time. Number 4. Biblis. Native to Australia, Biblis, also known as rainbow plants, are small plants with a passive trapping mechanism. The leaves of the plants are covered with small glandular hairs which produce a kind of a sticky substance. This sticky fluid attracts flying insects and when they land on the leaves they get stuck to the leaf. Unless they're able to escape, the insects starve to death. The digestion is aided by the juices produced by the sessile gland on the leaves. Number 3. Nepenthes. Also known as monkey cups or tropical pitcher plants, Nepenthes is a genus of around 150 different species. These plants are found in Southeast Asia, China, India, Madagascar, Seychelles and Australia. The name monkey cups comes from the fact that the monkeys often drink water from the pitchers of the plant. The trap includes a pitcher formed at the tip of the tendrils on the leaves. It contains a fluid, which is slippery, that drowns the prey. The down portion of the trap contains glands which absorb nutrients from the prey. The plants mainly consume insects, although the largest species are found to trap even rats and small birds. Number 2. Darlingtonia californica. The Darlingtonia californica is mainly found in Northern California and uses pitcher traps to capture prey. However, unlike other pitcher plants, the plant does not store rainwater but pumps the water from its roots. In addition to the common parts of a pitcher trap, the plant has also many false exit points aimed to exhaust the prey. 
This technique makes the Darlingtonia californica one of the most efficient carnivorous plants. Number 1. Venus Flytrap The Venus Flytrap, also known as Dionia muscipula in the scientific world, is perhaps the most famous of all carnivorous plants. The plant, native to the eastern coasts of the United States, feeds on small insects. The trapping mechanism is triggered when the sensitive hairs on the leaves are stimulated. The leaves snap shut immediately. Once the prey is trapped inside, the plant digests and absorbs it. It takes the Venus flytrap about 10 days to consume the prey completely. Very small prey can escape the trap and it will reopen in 12 hours.